Hello, this is a quick follow-up to Voltage Regulator, where I talk about this fucking thing. Why the fuck the waveform do that? Alright, this is gonna be really shitty. So, let's imagine that we have some waveform, right? And it's really loud. Like, it's too loud for the system to properly handle, and so it's going outside of the boundaries up here and down here. Now, usually, when this happens, it'll clip, right? It'll just hang out at the top for a bit, hang out at the bottom for a bit. Looks like that. Sounds like your friend's Discord microphone. But there's actually nothing saying that we have to do that. You imagine we take the same waveform and take the parts that are clipped out and we just, like, move them back into range. So it ends up looking like that. This doesn't look like it would create anything sensible, and it kind of doesn't. So when you do that, you create these kind of discontinuities in the waveform that are kind of hard to reason about, but end up producing some pretty interesting results in practice. And if you then decide to change how much you're amplifying the wave by, those discontinuities can morph in a way that creates some really interesting sounds. So if we go back to the M8, what we can do is we can take this really boring saw wave, we can amplify it and slowly increase that over time. And then we can change our limiter mode to wrap, which is the behavior that we talked about earlier. And that is the fucking thing that it is. And if we change the amplifier rate rapidly and then like also change the waveform that we're working with, we can get some of those cool bass patterns. Tyron, why would you do that instead of doing literally anything else? Because Little Sound DJ lets you do it on the Game Boy. I actually use this technique in some other stuff as well. It doesn't always produce predictable results because the thing that you're doing is kind of fucking unreasonable. But if you happen to remember the uh, growth theme from Ring Racers... These two leads are actually accomplished with that same sort of wrap distortion. If I turn that off and take it back to clipping... Again, for the uh, Sega jingle... One of the layers here is this one. And that, if I remove the low pass, is actually just... A really fucking annoying uh, rap distorted uh, chord. So by sweeping that low pass up, we introduce more of those like high aggressive frequencies, and you get the M8 is a device with like one megabyte of RAM that is built out of a thirty dollar microcontroller. So these techniques are like computationally straightforward but still allow you to get a lot of interesting sounds, which I think is neat. And that's what the video is.